I just feel led to, to say something. There's, a, there's this little chapter in there in the book that I talk about restoration, and I just felt that so strong when you said that. And <clears throat> this is a true story, Jim. Um, a guy by the name of Steve Wynn, who is a famous developer in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. He's built the Bellagio and all the great hotels there, the Wynn's, and he's, many give him credit for kind of bringing back Vegas. That's right. And uh, he, he bought a painting, it's a true story. He, yeah. he bought a painting, a Picasso, uh, back in 1991 for $50 million. And it was called Le Rêve, which is French for the dream. A painting called The Dream. Wow. And he would hang it in the lobbies of his hotels because he loved it and he had an emotional attachment to it. This is his own words. Mm -hmm. Because it represented his life in the dream. Yes. And he would hang it in the hotels of, 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 uh, of where he was mm -hmm. and all the hotels that he had. Well, five years later, an investor from New York called him and said, I want to buy the dream. I want to offer you $139 million for it. He paid $50 million. He, so he sold it five years later. And to celebrate, he had a huge party in Vegas at one of his hotels. All of the wealthiest, famous movie stars, they flew in to say goodbye to the dream. While he was up talking, true story, while he was up talking, he has an eye disease. He lost his balance and he almost fell, and he put his arm out, and his arm went through the painting that was on an easel behind him. It destroyed the painting, so much so that the investor said, I withdraw my check. I do not want that painting. The dream is torn. I mean, if you're a preacher, you, you know oh, where I'm yeah. going. All day long. The dream is, yeah. is tattered. It's yeah. worthless. Yes. But Steve Wynn loved that painting so much, he searched the world, went to Europe, and found what he called a, 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 um, a, a surgeon of art. Yes. Brought yes. him in, and it took, listen to this, talk about restoration. One year of working on the tear. And when he got through, it was so remarkable that when you looked at the front of the painting, you could not tell. The greatest experts could not tell when you looked at the back if they could see inside what mm. had happened. But mm. here's the point. This is what's remarkable. The same investor who said, I, I, it's worthless, it's trash, there's, the dream is torn and tattered and worthless, called Steve Wynn back. And even though he offered him $139 million before it was torn, after it was restored, he offered him $155 million. <laughs> It was worth more after it had been torn and devastated. Wow. You're worth more after you've been restored That's than right. you were before you went through what you went through. That's I will God. restore the years the canker worm and the locusts have taken from you. And when God gets through with you, yeah. you'll be more valuable right. than you were because of what you went through. Because of the tears that you prayed and mm -hmm. the trials that you went through mm -hmm. and the faith that had to be developed in that fiery furnace, mm -hmm. God says, mm -hmm. I'll use all of that to make you more valuable for my glory and to the kingdom. And I, I, I really believe okay. that that is what God is doing in people's lives. Yeah. When he allows our dreams to be torn, yeah. our marriages to be tattered, yeah. our, our, our life turns into a nightmare, we don't quit. Right. We don't give up. Right. That's it. Everything... That's right you're dreaming for is on the other side of yes. not giving up. Right. Don't you give up. Don't give up. There's acres of diamonds ahead of you.